A nice day starts with a walk by the sea. Right, Sammy? Sammy! Oops! Oh, Sue, I'm so tired of chasing you around! Come on, Sammy. Jogging in the morning is good for just about anyone. Sue, but why is our house so far from the sea? You know what? I've got a super cool idea. Let's build a house by the sea. Come, hurry up. Wow, that's interesting. Wait for me! Somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere... We'll go sailing! Sammy, no, that's not how the song goes. So what? Look at this yacht I put together. Eh, what are you doing? I'm prepping all the basic parts we'll need. Oh, well, that's good. Hi there, guys. Hey, hello. Sue and I are so happy like our miniature houses. So we decided to assemble one more. Sea like and breezy. Hey, sea slime. Don't you want to get started? You know why? You didn't even have to ask. So let's start assembling. Give a thumbs up if you watched our previous videos where we assembled houses. This time, we're building a wonderful two-story seaside via. <sighs> it's a dream. What's the house of your dreams like? Write in the comments. The staircase leading to the second floor was put together by our Slime Sam, master of the staircases, so I only have to assemble it. Here, we'll have a dining room with a balcony. Let's assemble a pretty sideboard. This blue and white color scheme is amazing! The house we assembled last time was blue and white, too. Remember? We'll put the sideboard in place. A sideboard without dishes? That's uncommon. Well, our house is very unique, you know. Agreed. By the way, the table and chairs are ready. Thank you, Sammy. I'll put them here. Hmm, we're getting some new colors here. I like that. We'll have another cabinet on the first floor. It has a very sea-like feel about it. Just look at these wonderful stripes on the doors. And we'll need the most sea-like accessories to go with this sea-like cabinet. And of course, a clock shaped like a life buoy ring. Wow. Susie, is this what I think it is? It's exactly what you think it is, Sammy. Wow, a true music genius will be living here. I didn't think that you were thinking about that. Well, okay. There you go, buddy. And the most sea-like table to go with you. Just like a little ship. This living room is just begging for a rug, isn't it? Now for our table. And some cute decor pieces. Oh, I'm almost there. Almost. Almost learned how to play the grand piano? <laughs> <laughs> I've always known how to play it. What about you? Can you assemble a grand piano? Well, I think I can assemble this one. There. Good job, good job. Keep going and I'll continue creating. Go ahead, Mr. Creator. Actually, let's be fair and say that Sam makes stunning decor pieces. So the first floor is ready. Time to get to the second one. To move over to the second floor, we'll need some extra support. The floor of the second floor is the ceiling of the first one. And on the ceiling, we usually have... Lamps! You put this one together and I'll work on the chandelier. Okay, Sammy, I'll put together the lamp with a fan. It's so nice and delicate, just lovely. Give a thumbs up if you agree. Here it is. My chandelier masterpiece. <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. Let's secure our wonderful lamps in their places. Now we need to secure this whole piece above the first floor. Although, actually, the first floor isn't finished yet. We still have several details to add. Such a beautiful sea house needs an impressive entrance. You like it, Sammy? 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 <laughs> okay. I guess he's very busy. Let's not forget about the light, too. We'll have the entrance right here. It's always been my dream to surf. For the second floor now, we'll have lots of great things here. The bedroom, the swimming pool, and the balcony. Did I hear you say balcony? And I'm right on time! You are on time, Sammy. We'll arrange it all here now. We'll do the bedroom next, right? Right? Yes. 
A small dream bedroom. Say no more, I'll be back in a flash. This bedroom corner is begging for a small bedside table. We'll place another beacon on it. It's a lamp. And a few trifles. I don't really know what Sam is making for the bedroom over there, but he left all the bed parts here. The bed will be very soft. There we go. With a flower pattern chintz blanket. Our bed will have a very romantic headboard. Just lovely. Here, hurry up and take it! This looks better than I imagined. So, where is she? Who? The music genius who's going to live in this house! Sammy, this house is... That's right, I know it's not ready yet, so I'll get going. Uh, I think Sam got some sort of idea into his head again. What are we going to do this time, guys? Write your suggestions in the comments. Also, we'll have this telescope in our house so that one can watch the stars at night. The further we go, the more I like this house. <laughs> Most of the house is done. Time to put the roof in place. This wonderful breezy house is just begging for a skylight, right? We need this exquisite railing here so that no one falls off the second floor. <laughs> also, it'll give our house a finished look. So beautiful! You do know that we're not really done, right? I know, Sammy, I know. Great! Then I'll have just enough time to finish some details. Oh, <laughs> guys, I know what details Sam's talking about. It will be really cool. Okay, carefully now. Ah, I'll deal with this small staircase myself. Sam trusted me to do it. <laughs> Your place is right here at the front door. We're not done with this side yet. Here's a blue and white fence, a bucket with fishing rods, and some nature. Seashells and starfish clearly got washed up over here by the sea. And then these cute logs. They will make... An awesome spot to dock the yacht. <laughs> Right, Sammy. Let's hurry up and make it happen. This yacht is amazing. Thank you, thank you. I tried hard, did everything slowly and carefully the way you taught me. Oh, I'm glad, Sammy. So she knows how to sail too? She? The one who lives in this house. Uh, Sammy, but, um... Oh, I forgot to bring one more thing. Just a sec. Guys, maybe a beautiful lady who likes music, stars, and sailing will actually come to live in this house. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think anyone would like to lounge in a hammock. Here's a small fence to make sure no one is disturbed. Here, Sue, take it, quick! Don't you think you lost something? Well, I was in a hurry. Well, never mind, no harm done. Station, we can watch her and make sure she's always safe. She? Our musical sailor astronomer girl! <laughs> well put, Sammy. We can add a cat lover to the list. I think this is love by default. Hey, Sammy, wake up! Hooray, it's all done! for the beach house is... By the sea, of course. Our musical cat-loving sailor astronomer girl will feel so cozy here. Hi, everyone. Today we'll make a two-story house with a pool. We'll start with the lighting. This beautiful lamp, to be more precise. Hi, guys, I've been thinking. Hi, 
pirates need a rest from the sea, too. No doubt. You can't keep sailing and frightening people. What do pirates do on land? Well, I don't know, but you can help me with the craft. There will be many little details, like in our other houses. Can you take care of them? Pirate decorator, I love my new role! In the meantime, I'll prepare the furniture for the future house. Everything will be in a marine style. Hop! Usually light colors and natural materials are chosen for it. I need two pieces like this. Voila! Sue, I just remembered the cardboard piano we made! I decided to dedicate my life to rock and roll back then. That was cool. I also remember how fast you changed your mind. This mini piano is awesome! Night, sea, and music. I have a compulsive personality. Check out the flower bed I put inside. Yeah, very creative. But let's continue. There's no mini house without a library. So, who reads books in a beach house? Um, well, I do. I like to read while sunbathing. Holy cannoli, Sue, it'll take forever! Let me do magic! Wow, super speed! Thanks, Sammy! Will you help me with the other decor? Sure, since I've still got so much furniture to make. Right. I'm going to make a rocking chair. I like retro things in the interior. This rocking chair is one of those. It looks like it's hand-painted. But, Sue, you don't like hand-painted furniture, do you? Um, are you talking about that shelf you painted without my permission? But that was genius! A blue vase and bright accents! Actually, I decided to find a place for books in the house and added some decor. Hmm, I see you're inspired by the marine theme. Yeah, recreation theme mostly. That's why I made something soft. Great, keep it up. I need lots of details for the coffee table. I know. I'm on it. <sighs> right, he knows. Here, the table's ready. Sammy, how's it going with the decor? All done, but there's a lot. I advise you to use magic. Okay. Whoosh. Cool. What's next in our plan? All the soft and cozy things, Captain Sue. As Sam said, we're making soft furniture. Sue, I was reading about pirates. Yeah? Find something interesting? I learned that pirates made lots of geographical discoveries. Yeah, that's right. The most famous pirate explorer was an Englishman, Francis Drake. Fun fact, he was officially allowed to plunder ships of other countries. Yes, Sammy, but now piracy's illegal. I know, I know. I wasn't going to cause mischief. I just wanted to capture some sweets for my stomach. <laughs> oh, yes. Don't forget to close on a teller jar when you finish. I'll be the new jar explorer. It's exciting. <laughs> I bet Sam's going to board the Nutella. <laughs> By the way, I started making the kitchen furniture. First comes the table. Voila! Then the chairs. One and two. And finally, this cupboard for little pretty stuff. I'm always a bit more hungry when on vacation. So all the food stuff should be in order in our coastal house. We can cook using this kitchen counter. My favorite seafood is shrimp and mussels. Ooh, I also love seaweed, and Sam's afraid of it for some reason. Because it looks like venom and smells like iodine from the med kit. <laughs> of course, they'll say that seaweed's very nutritious, but, uh, you know what's better? What? Tell me. Me helping you with the craft, of course. Oh, I like your enthusiasm. Take these pieces and start assembling. Oopsie! I didn't expect you to have so much work for me. Ugh. Our house will have two floors. We'll place the bedroom on the first floor. I'm making this bed for it. Hop. Perfect. Let's arrange the pillows. Put a soft blanket, just like on a real bed. <gasps> Talking about bedrooms, it seems like Sam fell asleep assembling the pieces. Oh, wait. Wait. Two. Tinkerbell. No! Peter Pan wants to fly away. So the shadow to him still Captain Hook is here. Oh, Hook, still ready now, guys. <laughs> It's me! I came to check on you and you're sleeping! Come, I'll show you what I made while you were sleeping. Time to put it all together. Two, it's a whole museum of beautiful furniture and neat decorations. Yes, we have everything here. A soft, cozy bed. A dressing table with a mirror and cosmetics. 
Lots of flowers. Furniture for the bathroom. And even this for creativity. An easel with paint. Wow, I'd like to live in this house and give up my pirate dream. Great, then you can calmly finish your work. In the meantime, I'll set the walls. First, let's build a foundation. Our floor will be a bit above the ground level. Now let's decorate it with stones. Here comes the most interesting part. A pool? Hooray! Uh, one question. Why do we need a pool in this coastal house? Oh, that's a good one. What if it's so hot that you want to take a dip without leaving your house? You have a pool right there. Also, you can spill your drink dancing on the waves. By the way, there will be no windows in the house. Only beautiful wooden lattice. Look, the wallpapers are also in marine theme. Anchors, light shades of sea and sand. I can't wait to finish building this house. Be very careful with the wallpapers. You don't want them to come off. It's highly possible in maritime climates. How do you know all these details about humid climates? Actually, I'm a great traveler. Also a pirate. I know everything about sea breeze and the burning sun. Tell me, oh great seafarer, what seas have you sailed? Ah, I remember our expedition to Tibidabo. The one where you discovered the land with sweets growing on trees? No, you messed it up. That was the one where we saw the huge whale swimming next to our ship. Oh, oh. They were so big that I was a bit scared. Just a little. Even if true to say, uh, I was terrified. But the people of Tibby Dalla told me that whales are very friendly. I'd definitely be scared, Sammy. Now let's go arrange the furniture and the decor. Guys, while setting the kitchen, I want to tell you an interesting story. Did you know that there were no tables in ancient Greece? Instead, there were long benches where the Greeks would put their dishes. But more importantly, people were not sitting but lying on the floor during their meal. Eating while lying? Huh, I never tried that. Yeah, I don't think you or our viewers should. You could choke on something. Though we're a bit like the Greeks when we eat pizza watching a movie on the sofa. <laughs> I call it lazy watching. I brought some marine-themed decor, a life buoy clock and flowers. And I have more furniture, creating coziness right before your eyes. One can rest in this living room after long walks along the coast. Or after a cool shopping session. I think there's new swimsuits or stylish sunglasses in these bags. Actually, they're design accessories made of shells and pearls. Fine. As you say, Sammy. Here's the base for the second floor. There are three lamps in it. One for each room. All of them have wires. Let there be light. You almost forgot the piano and the plants. They should be right near the pool. Give a thumbs up so that Sue doesn't forget things. I guess I forgot about the plants because you remember about them, Sammy. I trust your taste when it comes to decor. I didn't forget about this hanging basket, just as you taught me. You're learning fast, cabin girl. Keep it up and you'll become a captain. Wait, Sammy, you said I was the captain. Now I'm a cabin girl again? Well, I remembered I am the captain. Captain Sam Sparrow! I have an offer for you. Close your eyes and I'll finish the second floor. Hmm, huh, interesting. Let's try. No peeking. I'm a bit shy. All right. Why, a house for a great pirate Sam and a craft. So, shiver me tutters your peeking. <gasps> Sorry, I was just curious. Not watching anymore. Okay, actually, now you can. Oh, Sammy, you did a great job. Just hiding the bedroom and the bathroom under the roof. I agree. It's way cozier. No an open air bathroom. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Sammy, I hope you're joking. I don't think you'd like someone spying you taking a bath. I agree. It always bothers me when Fluffy visits me in the bathroom. He's got those piercing and surprised eyes. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, Fluffy is very curious, just like any other cat. Luckily, he doesn't bother us during crafting. There's so many little pieces. 